Hi Taurus, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, or Rising. As always, welcome to my cross watchers. Wow, cross watcher. You could be dealing with a Taurus. The message could be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, my website is linked down below in the description box. Just go ahead and subscribe your email there. That way you'll always get an email notification every time my availability opens up. You can also follow me over on Instagram. That information is also down below. So just go ahead. Um, I post more things on quantum physics, crazy things I play around with alchemically over there. So, hmm. Um, if you guys do decide to jump over to my Instagram, just know that occasionally I get scammers. They tend to be a little bit more during Mercury retrograde. So here's kind of the protocol. If you get a follower request from an account posing to be me, that's your first red flag. Just go ahead and check the reference, the description box down below for reference to all my social media links. I have nothing other than what's listed down below. Okay. Um, you guys can also, what was I going to say? Oh yes, I will never DM you for personal readings, money, or donations of any kind. So if anything like that pops up, please report and block. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you've supported the channel. Let's dive in. Okay, so Taurus. This is kind of interesting. When I was seeing these cards, I was getting a little bit of a, a something. Okay, something is hidden here with the moon. All right. There are things that you don't see that are going on. And I feel like it's in a connection because, and there might be, there's a particular connection here. I don't know who this is involving because we have the maiden of wands and the maiden of cups. It, should, it just is telling me that you're either ending a connection or you are ending a cycle with this person. So if you'd been going back and forth, it's like, you're putting an end to that. It could be some clarity that you're receiving because it feels like almost to me there's a there's there's been a bit of delusion that you could have been under with a person. There's a person here that could have caused a lot of confusion in your reality and it feels like almost to me like this emotional sensitivity. Okay? So it feels like to me Someone's kind of secretive. Actually, this is kind of perfect. I'm not going to lie because both of these are water. This is like Pisces Cancer. And now there's the world card. <laughs> okay. There's a person here that's ending something. And it's bringing a lot of fear. And, but that also could be that the energy is reversing like the table is turning in a way. So if you were dealing with a particular person and you kind of felt like you were in the unknown with them, they were secretive. You could have like, it could have been more like you knew intuitively something was happening, but things weren't being acknowledged or things, things weren't being confronted or, you know, there was just like a lot of unclear stuff it feels like to me that's something that you're wrapping up in this cycle with a particular person, whatever that means. And here's what I'll tell you what happens. You have two maidens that are coming in, which is telling me that there are possibly two people involved here that are either younger or it's kind of like a, like still in in an interesting learning phase, but there also could be a shadow entanglement. That's why I was saying this is either youthful energies or there's something about this connection. Like, okay, let me say it in this way. When you connect with this particular person entanglement wise, you revert energetically to like a memorable time. Like it even could be a time in your childhood. It could have even been when trauma, some, some trauma happened. But here's the thing. Okay. It feels like to me that... Um, this person right here is very like charismatic, very buoyant kind of personality. And then there's the maiden of cups over here. That's very, um, soothing, emotional, 
and that is the moon like this energy this could be a very emotional person okay and i'm seeing here that something is going on here that's wrapping up this connection all right now what's very interesting here i almost get this sense between this connection like there's a person here that feels kind of refined or they like the finer things in life um, they could be also very articulate or the way they present themselves. They like to look a, a particular way or um, like their vocabulary is very refined. So they use like in intellectual words. They have a bigger vocabulary and that might be something about this energy. There's like almost a mismatch. Okay. There's also capacity over here. Again, take whichever side you resonate with. And then we have open in the center. All right. Here's what I think is going on fascinatingly. Because I have to show you these cards. Here's the Knight of Cups. Where something goes on in this connection. And it could be a bit of a push-pull. The only reason I say that is because a lot of these cards that are popping up are telling me that. So it's like... You could feel like this person emotionally opens up. Are they like, they're very emotionally vulnerable or expressive to an extreme. But something shifts in the dynamic between the two of you. And then it feels like you have to defend yourself. Or there's like, maybe it's even a criticism. Because it feels kind of fiery what comes from this maiden of wands. Like it could be frustration or like uh, things like that that are coming up to the surface. Like I said, either for you or if you're like the more emotionally sensitive one, just take whichever resonates because it's almost showing me that type of a thing. Okay. Um, there's this ten of wands here and then this seven of wands. We have the Seven of Cups, which is kind of perfect with all this cups over here. We have, the, oh, look at that, the Three of Swords. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I know nobody would normally say Three of Swords right there, but then we have the Eight of Cups. This is perfect. Okay, I was kind of getting a message, almost like somebody doesn't know that you know something. Because there's this moon card where it's like, secretive or there's like a delusion or an illusion around something or someone okay Taurus watch what the universe does in this situation because you know that typical saying everything that's in the dark comes to the light so if you've got an energy that's being deceptive here I do feel as though um there's a person over here that's feeling overburdened maybe even exhausted trying to make something happen and it could be that someone is like wanting your emotional connection okay because this is a very emotional person this is an empath this is like a person that like can handle a lot or the like could things could be expanding in a particular way with this capacity like the capacity for this person to handle more is growing and expanding so there's an energy in this in in here where somebody's expanding and opening up to more and more and there's an energy over here that could be um, like emotionally wanting to give to that person or situation but feeling like they have to defend themselves okay and getting burnt out maybe by that process or by something going on now this three of swords feels like again there's all this like illusion so for example you could have been connected to a person where you realize like you are more like there could be something that you're realizing or gaining the truth and clarity that you're the reality of the relationship or situation is more like that push pull where when you're around that person doesn't want you around but when you're away they they want you around and it's just like this really conflicting situation and whenever you're away and this person emotionally starts giving to you or the situation you start thinking like getting caught up in the illusion that the relationship will go in a different direction than it has in the past but it never has 
every time that you've gone back to it, this same cycle plays out. So that's why I wonder if you're ending this cycle with a particular person, because something will probably, this is eventually what happens if you continue to go to it. Something will pop up to the surface where you get all this clarity about some triangulation or gossiping or whatever this scapegoating situation is. It's like the typical rescuer, perpetrator, victim dynamic. And it's going to help you to, that's why this might feel like a sting because maybe you're seeing that someone doesn't have your back or you feel a little bit betrayed or something feels a little two-faced. This person, and it might even be a situation for you guys where it plays out where the person doesn't realize that you find this out. You know, you might get this clarity. The universe gives it to you in this really profound way so that you know and you have enough clarity. And it's saying like, don't go defend yourself. Don't lower your dignity. Don't like lower to those people's levels. It's just like, you can take that with you with and it's going to give you what you need to be able to have the courage to walk away from this whole situation. That's what the universe will do for you sometimes if you're really struggling because it feels like this eight of swords kind of where you've been in some kind of inner conflict or just like feeling trapped to this situation. Maybe because like there's just all these different thoughts that you have about the situation, like what ifs and making sure that you don't have regrets and just like trying to be a good person but also feeling like you're running into a brick wall with this connection and it's finally like just this release when you officially get to walk away and and just allow people to be in their own shadow energy and do their own emotional work rather than being so dependent on a person reacting or behaving in a particular way to cause someone to be happy like that that codependency is so heavy it feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders when someone's happiness and you connecting or being there or acting in a certain way or being a particular person it's it's it feels like the biggest trap feels like you can't really be who you're supposed to be and it feels like to me that there are things that are opening up. It could even be other connections that are coming into your reality that are open and allow you to be who you are. And it feels like that's highlighting somewhere in your reality so that you can kind of walk in the direction of something that's better for you and brings you all the emotional fulfillment that you deserve, you know? So interesting things are going to unfold here <laughs> okay I can see it and it might feel initially like it hurts but it's actually like gonna free you it's gonna free you Taurus okay so I'm gonna dive into the extended I'll see whatever else wants to come out if you guys want to join me over there feel free go down below click on the Vimeo link I'll see you over there but Taurus if this is where we leave things I'm sending you so much love wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading take care